Welcome back to the Ralston Arena, Omaha, Nebraska. The main event of VFC 41, L.C. Davis against Ryan Roberts. Mike Kendall with our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the main event of the evening. This fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds in the VFC bantamweight division and is brought to you by Nissan of Omaha, Ralston Arena. Omaha, Nebraska, are you ready for war? Introducing first, fighting out of the fire barn red corner. He stands five foot six, weighing in at 138 pounds, holding a professional MMA record of 21 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and one no contest. Training out of Premier Combat Center from Omaha, Nebraska, your VFC featherweight champion, Ryan. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Warner Cycle Works blue corner, stands five foot eight. It weighed in at 135 pounds, holding a professional MMA record of 20 wins, five losses. Training out of HD MMA from Kansas City, Kansas, your VFC bantamweight champion, L.C. Davis. Your referee in charge of the action is Dave Jobin. L.C. Davis, Ryan Roberts getting set for what was going to be a championship fight. It will not be a championship fight as Ryan Roberts came in three pounds overweight. But L.C. Davis and Ryan Roberts fighting at bantamweight. The two champions, the featherweight champ Roberts, the bantamweight champion L.C. Davis. And this is exactly what I thought Ryan Roberts should do. Get out there and turn this into a fight. He is a brute. Ryan Roberts is a very tough guy. I fought this guy myself. Tons and tons of respect for him. And he is hard to deal with when he is in your face. LC from the outside fighting a technical fight is very tough in his own right. But if, if Ryan can turn this into a brawl, into a, a street fight, so to speak, that's his fight in this fight, in my opinion. Well, and you you had a victory over Ryan Roberts. You guillotine choke over in one of the corners here in, in your victory fight against him. But, uh, and Ryan Roberts looks like he's trying for the submission here, and he great position with the uh, side position here against L.C. Davis and throws the right knee, and L.C. trying to do his best to work out of that position. But Ryan Roberts, as you said, very strong individual. And... L.C. Davis, the last thing he probably wants is this bigger fighter on top of him. Yeah, here we are. L.C. was able to work back to the half guard position, but that's not his strength. L.C.'s a very accomplished wrestler, a good striker from the southpaw position. The last place he wants to be in this fight is on his back, and you could say the same thing for Ryan Roberts. He doesn't want to fight off his back either. So right now, I feel like Ryan has the advantage. We'll see if L.C. can try to force a scramble or possibly get a sweep and get the top position from here. And again, for those uh, that, that are not in the know, uh, very emotional for both of these fighters. Ryan Roberts, the fighter on top out of Omaha, Nebraska. His sister, Andrea Kruger, uh, murdered this past summer. No way around it. I mean, that's she was murdered here in Omaha, Nebraska. And uh, obviously, heavy heart. He steps into the cage, uh, says that out of all the people that uh, were in the, the crowds during his fights, he didn't hear many, but he heard his sister. And uh, those wings on his back of uh, next to the cross are in honor of his sister. Um, and L.C. Davis on the bottom now, uh, struggling in his own right to deal with the loss of his brother. Uh, his brother, Ryan Cobbins, has been missing down in Kansas City area for about two months. They found a car, just have not found L.C. Davis's brother. So <laughs> very interesting circumstances, unfortunate circumstances for both fighters in, in this main event. Absolutely, Matt. And you know what? You hear this phrase a lot, but it's true. Fighters fight. And here these two guys are. They've both been going through hell and back with all these situations with their family. They're still in the gym and still training, coming in here in shape, putting on this fight for the crowd. It just, it just tugs at my heart to think of both of these guys. I know both of these guys personally, and, and nobody deserves that. And, and what a great thing by Victory Fighting Championships, letting these guys come showcase this, and not only that, but donating a portion of all the proceeds. Absolutely. What a great thing with Victory Fighting Championships. It's just the right thing to do. And right now, we've got a heck of a fight. We've got Ryan Roberts definitely controlling from the top. 
definitely winning this round right now as, as he lands a short elbow right there. And they'll see, uh, you know, right now I think he uh, he's content to try just not to get hurt from here and um, and then see if he can do better in a later round because he's not really actively trying to come up here. And normally when someone has an underhook there um, with his right arm, he'll try to come up hard and uh, and try to fight for the top position. But right now, you know, he looks like he's content to, to be safe and, and play defense and, and try not to take any big shots from Roberts. That said, he has been on his back for almost four minutes now as we approach the final 60 seconds of round number one. Now, this is different than the previous fights tonight. This is, even though it's not a, a championship fight for a belt, it was originally a championship fight for L.C. Davis's bantamweight belt. This is still, although not a belt title fight, it is a five-minute fight. Right, five yeah. minute, five rounds, five minute fight. Right, yeah, we got a we got a, a similar situation to the UFC here. We're doing a main event, five rounder. We want to see a decisive finish in this fight, and I think it'll happen here. And, and there's no way around it. Brian Roberts missed weight for this fight. You know, he is a very, very big 35er. You know, I fought Ryan Roberts at 155 pounds, and he is. So strong, and and here he is, you know, trying to make it all the way down to 35. Came up just short. It cost him a shot at the title, but it doesn't cost him the fight. Yeah, and absolutely, when it's all said and done, he missed weight. Both guys, you know, there was no doubt that they were still going to fight. LC's going to get a little bit of Ryan's purse, regardless of the outcome. And uh, we are into the final couple seconds of round number one of our five-round fight between LC Davis and Ryan Roberts. We'll be back with the second round. Right after this, this is Victory Fighting Championship 41. Round number two, Ryan Roberts, L.C. Davis, the main event, BFC 41, here from a sold-out Ralston Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. And we are underway in round number two. Ryan Roberts at the top of your screen, L.C. Davis, off to your right now. L.C. Davis in the black trunks, all black is the... Victory Fighting Championship Bantamweight Champion, 135 pounds. Ryan Roberts, the Featherweight Champion at 145. Ryan dropping down to fight LC, which was supposed to be originally for LC Davis's Bantamweight belt. Ryan Roberts missed weight by about three or four pounds. So it will not be a title fight, but it is two champions doing war here tonight. Alongside Joe the Nose Wilk, I'm Matt Kelly. Joe? first round to Ryan Roberts just based on control alone? Yeah, without a doubt. But right now what we're seeing is LC's establishing his range and he's landing with that left. We have a, you know, the thing is when you're, anytime you're messing with the southpaw, it's going to be a little tricky. And LC looks like he's getting his range a little bit. <laughs> Both of them smiling at each other a little bit. LC says, huh? Come on. Yeah, Roberts, you know, I liked his game plan better in the first round. It's hard to keep that pace though, you know, and I think that's what he's thinking now. He knows he's up one round to nothing. And, uh, you know, he doesn't want to – if he tries to keep that pace for five rounds, that's going to be very hard to do. But I'm telling you right now, LC is getting comfortable out here on the outside. He's getting rangy, and he's looking to land strikes. He's definitely looking to land something good here and get back into this fight. Ryan, the attempted spinning back kick, and LC not going to be fooled there. Yeah, you know, I'm surprised that, that Roberts is choosing to, to strike with LC here. He was had so much success on the ground in the first round, and he is a heck of a wrestler. But he looked, oh, good, good Yeah, left. good left hand by Ryan Roberts there. And and Roberts is in a southpaw Ooh, stance here. Left from and LC. And switches back. And I think at the same time, you know, these guys want to win, but they're also, I think they'd love to stand and exchange with one another. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, the thing is, Matt, in this sport, and especially in this day and age, the fans love to see that. They just do. And and so we know that as fighters going in, that sometimes if you just strap up, stand in the middle, and swing punches until somebody falls down, you can bet the crowd's going to go crazy. I wouldn't make a career out of it, <laughs> but the fans will go crazy. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, there is a full house here tonight at the Ralston Arena. And it's been a great night of fight so far. And what a better way to cap it off than with this battle between two champions. L.C. Davis letting it fly. 
LC is getting very comfortable in here in the stand-up, and that's not good for Ryan. Left hand from LC Davis gets right. through. Ryan has a right. Yeah, firing back. You know, Ryan, he, he is not going to go anywhere. He's, he's in here for a tough fight. Oh, spinning back fist almost landed it. Ryan misses with the right. LC connects with the right. We definitely have a change of pace here. First round was 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 all ground fighting, and second round here we're oh, I think he just tripped him there. I, I thought he might have rocked him, but I think he actually just stepped on his foot maybe or, or knocked him off balance backwards. LC looks like he's fine and is, is staying out there where he's comfortable. He's a little bit rangier than Ryan and and uh, a little bit taller, and I think that he's really comfortable out there on the outside. Ryan needs to either be in his face or take him down again because right now LC is winning this round. Ryan Roberts, a wrestler by skill set, I guess, growing up. LC, a little bit of everything, but trains with a great wrestler in Jason High down at their gym in Kansas City, Kansas. Oh, the HD MMA, HD MMA guys MMA. are unbelievable, man. They are just so talented. I, Jason High in the UFC. LC is one of the best fighters in the history of not being to the UFC yet. And and so th they've got a great gym there. He's got Travis Connolly in his corner over here, a very, very talented grappling coach that's been helping him with his jiu-jitsu and stuff. And I think LC, you know, he's just got a, he's got a good mental attitude. He's a veteran. He's got 25 fights. He's here for this fight. And and as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's round one to Ryan Roberts, round two to LC Davis. If well, the thing about happens. it, both guys saying when I interviewed him that this is a fight that, for all intents and purposes, could be on a UFC card, and we have it here on our Victory Fighting Championship 41 card as our main event, final five seconds of round number two. Ryan Roberts and L.C. Davis getting after it, but time runs out. We'll head to the third of five rounds. A couple punches exchanged at the end. Round three coming up next. This is Victory Fighting Championship 41. Back here to sold out Ralston Arena, Omaha, Nebraska. Victory Fighting Championship 41 into the third round of our five round main event between Ryan, Are You Ready Roberts, and L.C. Davis. I think we're all even here, Matt. I think it's one round apiece. First round to Ryan Roberts, second round to L.C. Davis. The last thing that Ryan Roberts needs to do is continue to let L.C. be where he's comfortable, which is right here at this, at this boxing range, so to speak. Ryan Roberts had success in the first round when he was in LC's face and then on the ground. Right here, LC seems to be getting his timing down and, and picking Ryan apart just a little bit. And, and Ryan has power at any time anything can happen, but right now LC seems to be getting very comfortable in there. Well, if this does go the distance, it would not be a, a first for Ryan Roberts. His last fight here in the victory cage, a five-rounder against Josh Orocho when he claimed the featherweight title for VFC was a full five rounder and Roberts won via decision, but that was a big time fight between Roberts and Orocho. So if he has to go the distance, we kind of noticed in between the second round that Ryan looked a little bit more winded than LC, but we'll have to see. We're about a minute 15 into round number three. Matt Kelly alongside Joe the Nose Wilk, VFC 41. This is our main event. The crowd's starting to get back into it. I heard some LC chants coming up, and then the, the Omaha crowd responds and, and, and shuts that down. Right now, Ryan Roberts needs to get himself back into this fight. I feel like he dropped the second round, wasn't being aggressive enough when he was in LC Davis's face. I said from the beginning, Matt, people ask me who's going to win this fight, and this is exactly what I said. I said if it's a brawl, Ryan Roberts. If it's a fight, LC Davis. And, and, and right now, and there's a difference, right? There's a, definitely a difference. And right now, this is a fight. This is technical. This is LC. He's using feints. He's using timing. He's setting Ryan up with his jabs and staying on the outside. And not only that, but he is comfortable in doing it, so it's not wearing him out. He's not. A, he's not overexerting himself. He's landing good shots. LC Davis staying very patient, as is Roberts. But at the same time, Roberts is a little more deliberate when he's going for those. <laughs> knockout hopeful punches yeah yeah Roberts is not short on muscles if you if you haven't noticed Superman and, punch and and you know it one punch can change anything but right now he he's getting he's getting out boxed there this is a boxing match with four ounce gloves right now 
Are you surprised that Ryan has not tried to get to Elsie's lower body? Or is Elsie just doing a great job of keeping them at bay with those longer, wirier arms? Well, you know, I'm not sure what, what Ryan Roberts' strategy is here. I think that it's it's possible that he uh, he got a little a little winded in that first round controlling LC from the top position and and with that big takedown. And so maybe he doesn't want to use the energy yet, but I'm telling you, if, I, if I'm Ryan Roberts' corner, I'm telling him, go out there, get the takedown, just control from the top position, and, and win the round the way you won the first round, and then we'll see you at the next one, you know? And, and right now, because he, he, he's losing these rounds to LC based on, on boxing, whether big shots are landing or not, he's getting outpointed right now from range. You saw a little bit there about a minute ago in this round where Ryan switched to a southpaw stance, and we'll see if maybe that comes into play there he goes right there yeah he did that a little bit earlier too you know i think it's a, it's it's part of his strategy probably was to mess with lc and occasionally um and occasionally go southpaw it also could be that ryan potentially is more comfortable wrestling from the southpaw position is, is considering shooting um not real sure what he's doing there but either way you look at it right now round two and and so far in round three lc davis is controlling this fight from a, a boxing and kickboxing range and, and Ryan needs to either turn it up or try to take this one back to the ground right now. Saw just a second ago there, a couple seconds ago, uh, the third spinning back kick that Ryan Roberts tried to deliver on L.C. Davis. L.C. Davis shaking off Ryan Roberts right there. He's also tried a spinning back fist, his Ryan going for the single leg right there, and L.C. shakes him off again. Final 30 seconds of our third round. Oh, he drops him. drops Ryan Roberts. L.C.'s getting right on top of him here. Another big shot right there. He's. I think he's going to have to do a little bit more than that, though. Ryan's, Ryan's right. not going oh, yeah. quietly. No, no, no. And Ryan Roberts back up in the crowd here at the Ralston Arena. And he answers back. Feet. Big shots from Ryan Roberts. This is what the fans came to see, Matt Kelly. We got ourselves a little bit of a war. I like a little bit of piss and vinegar coming out of Ryan Roberts here at the end of round three. Whoa. All right, we have ended what is really the end of regulation on the normal MMA side. We have two rounds left. The championship rounds, they call them. We'll be back for the fourth of five right after this. This is Victory Fighting Championship 41, and you're watching it on Fox 42. The Victory Fighting Championship 41 continues from a sold-out Ralston Arena in Omaha, Nebraska. Alongside Joe the Nose Wilk, I'm Matt Kelly. L.C. Davis on the right, Ryan Roberts on the left, getting set for the fourth of five rounds in our VFC 41 main event. Who do you give the third round to? You said the first round to Roberts, second to L.C. Who does that third round go to? Still have it, L.C.? L.C. Davis. L.C. Davis controlled with striking from a range where he's comfortable. He also Ooh. landed a big shot and knocked Ryan Roberts down. And Ryan Roberts reacted awesomely, and we all loved it. But at the end of the day, first round to Ryan Roberts, two and three to L.C. Davis. Here we are in these championship rounds. Who wants it? High drama, victory fighting championships. I'm just glad to be here. And this crowd, the biggest that victory fighting championship has ever had, the third sellout at the Ralston Arena. I'll tell you that Roberts now seems like he's starting to get his timing down. The first minute of this round is the best Ryan Roberts has looked on the feet up until that spinning back kick attempt. He, it, this is the best he's looked on the feet so far in this fight. Now, let me ask you this, never, you know, being somebody that's never stepped in a cage, fought, anything like that, can, can a fighter get a second win? Can you, you know, we, we, we saw Ryan looked a little spent maybe in that second, maybe part of the third round. Can you get your second, third wins when you, or a fighter in the cage you can you absolutely can and and it's all about not quitting when you're tired your body will catch back up you you're it's hard to deal with the adrenaline and your and your heart rate going crazy and it's it's a it's a fight it's a it's physically very demanding but belief in yourself belief in your your training and your conditioning that will bring it back to you later in the fight if you believe in it. Well, and both of these guys, again, HD MMA down in Kansas City, Premier Combat Center here in Omaha, Nebraska, um, <laughs> obviously has some great fighters for these guys to work out with and train with. And, you know, those are gyms that they're not going to let their guys come into this main event unprepared. And both of these guys, extremely prepared, extremely emotional, 
Ryan Roberts losing his sister in June. Murdered here in Omaha, L.C. Davis. His brother's been missing for about a month and a half, two months down in Kansas City. They have yet to find him, and Ryan Roberts lands a couple rights, knocks L.C. Davis up against the cage. Hey, let me answer that question again, Matt Kelly. Can you get a second win? We're seeing it. <laughs> We're seeing Ryan Roberts starting to turn it on. He's getting more confident here. And now, now he's getting comfortable in this range. He definitely LC, does. There, LC comes back with really, really clean, straight left hands, keeping it nice and clean, trying to, to take the shorter route than the, the wider punches right now of Ryan Roberts and, and, and land before he gets there. If you can, for the, for the layman out there, what, what do you see in Roberts that, in Ryan that, that makes you, you know, see him as more comfortable? What is it just? You know, I think it has everything to do, Matt, with confidence. I think that what happens is you go out there and you land a couple shots. I'm, if I'm in a fight and I, I start landing a couple jabs, land a good shot, I think I'm Muhammad Ali out there. I'm getting light on my feet. I'm getting more confident. I'm throwing more combinations. When things are going good or bad in mixed martial arts, a lot of times it's a snowball rolling downhill. What a oh, great fight this has been. L.C. Davis, LC. the left hand. Both of these guys have landed some real good shots. We got chins in here from both of them. And as you said, both from great gyms. Can't say enough about Premier or HD MMA. I fought guys from both gyms. My guys fight guys from both gyms. We always know we're in for it. We purposely come to Omaha and go to Kansas City to fight all of these guys from these teams because they are good and we want to get better. Well, it's the same in every sport, Joe. To be the best, you have to beat the best. And these are two of the best at their respective weight classes that are not in the UFC. Ryan Roberts and LC both thinking that a victory here could get them that phone call, that much awaited phone call for LC Davis for sure would be his first trip to the UFC. Ryan Roberts, a return trip to the UFC. But if Joe Silva's watching this one, I would think that one or both deserve a shot at that next level. And you can bet Joe Silva's watching. And by the way, my name, oh, big shots. Big shots from Ryan Roberts. And now he's looking for a takedown and he gets it. This place is going crazy here at the Ralston Arena as Ryan Roberts takes L.C. Davis down to the canvas for just the second time in the fight. The first round was almost all this as we're approaching the final 20 seconds, but Roberts finally able to get inside. He had L.C. up against the cage. L.C. does not like that, so he's trying to let Ryan have it with elbows. He's trying to see if he can possibly stay in this round as far as the judges are concerned, but from my point of view, Two rounds apiece, heading to the fifth round. What more do you want, the FC fans? What more can you ask? These two have fought 20 minutes, and guess what? It is not enough as the sold-out crowd is on its feet here at the Ralston Arena tonight. The fifth and final round of this main event, Victory Fighting Championship 41, coming up after this. You're watching Victory Fighting Championship. Back at the Ralston Arena for the fifth and final round of our main event, L.C. Davis, Ryan Roberts. Davis on the right, the BFC 135-pound champion. Roberts on the left, the 145-pound champion of victory. We got ourselves a fight, Matt, and, and not only that, but both of these guys have a little pep in their step here at the beginning of a long fifth round after a long four rounds before it. Do you He's, give that fourth round to Ryan Roberts? Oh, I do. I give it to, to him, and I, and I hope that the judges did, too. I hope so we, that it's 2-2. Two two. Two, two right as far as I'm concerned, the winner of this round wins the fight. Who wants it? We got a crowd here that is ready for a war. They want to see who's going to suck it up when they're tired and try to finish this fight. I'll tell you what. I've gotten to know Ryan a little bit better in LC just because of the proximity of where we live, but two quality individuals in this cage right now doing battle. They fought for 20 minutes already. And if we go the distance, it'll be 25. Hey, without a doubt, these two deserve and command respect. They've got it from me. They've got it from the crowd. This is a good fight. Two great fighters in there mixing it up. I'm so happy to be here right now, and I know the fans are too. It's been a fantastic night of fights, and I'll tell you what, couldn't ask for a better finish to our night as Ryan Roberts slips in a right hand. Oh, oh he's taking away a little bit. Stank Roberts coming for it. Roberts is trying to go LC after him is, now. LC is a little bit yeah, woozy. Yeah, he looks like a little yeah, bit. He does. And now Roberts is getting on the legs. He gets the takedown. And Ryan Roberts. 
Roberts on top of L.C. Davis in the corner right in front of us in L.C.'s corner. We got ourselves a predicament here if we're L.C. Davis, Matt. I think it's two rounds apiece. If you get stuck on bottom for the rest of this round, it potentially loses you the fight. He needs to try to get back up and get to his feet where he's more comfortable in this fight. Because right now, Ryan Roberts is controlling, looking to pass, pushes down to half guard, and is really controlling this fight right now. Ryan Roberts laying heavy on L.C. Davis as we're under three minutes to go in our fifth and final round of the main event here at Victory Fighting Championship 41. Full guard now for L.C. Davis, but Roberts postures up and throws a couple. Halfway through the final round. This is a, this is a heck of a fight so far. Ryan Roberts right now is controlling from the top position, and L.C.'s going to need to do something to put it in his favor. And Ryan not content with sitting in the guard and throwing punches. He's trying to pass. He's trying to advance position. And what that tells me is he's trying to finish this fight. He doesn't want the judges. He wants a finish. Well, and if you're L.C., you're probably at this exact moment, you don't want to go to the judges either because with the way that Ryan Roberts has gotten that second win that we talked about, Ryan certainly has the momentum right now, and not to mention the hometown crowd, the majority of this sold-out crowd here at the Ralston Arena tonight in full support of Ryan Roberts. A minute 39 and counting down to go. Dave Jobin overseeing the action. LC's making a move to the top here, L and Ryan Roberts is looking for a guillotine choke. He loses position, though, and now here we are. A minute and a half left. L.C. Davis assumes top position and side control. But Ryan And here comes right Ryan out. Roberts. These two. One minute left. Have gone I can't wait. Almost 24 minutes. And another 70 seconds will determine. A big shot. Who's the champion or who's the winner of this main event tonight. Roberts right in the midsection. L.C. brings it. This minute will determine the winner, but it won't determine the champion because they are both champions. Absolutely. This is a heck of a fight under big circumstances for both guys, both professionally and personally. We got 45 seconds and it's anybody's ball game. What more can you want for a main event and a great show? I've never seen a crowd like this at Victory Fighting Championship. Last moments to their feet. I'm on my feet. I'm not sitting down for the next 30 seconds. The I final 30 seconds. Ryan Roberts, L.C. Davis, champion versus champion. Big and shot. both of them both are going to go down swinging. L.C. stuffs him. He's looking for the neck here. No, he's not. He's going to control. And unfortunately, what's been a fantastic... Oh, Ryan Roberts back up. 10, Ten seconds, seconds left. They're going to let them all have it. Give them what they want, guys. Give them what they want. They're throwing down, they hit a big hit from L.C. Two seconds left. L.C. out of the trouble, what a fight! What a fight! What an amazing fight that's just concluded here at the Ralston Arena in Omaha, Nebraska tonight. L.C. Davis looking right over at Joe Wilk, saying I won, and then asking Joe Wilk, did he win? Joe Wilk. I don't want to be a judge. <laughs> I'm giving it two rounds apiece going into the fifth and a very close round. L.C. Davis fought back at the end of that round, and not only that, but had Ryan Roberts in trouble as the bell went off. A great fight either way. I can't wait to see what happens. We will be back with the official decision right after this. This is Victory Fighting Championship 41. Dave Joven calls over L.C. Davis and Ryan Roberts. We go inside the cage to Mike Kendall for the decision. Fight fans, after five grueling rounds of MMA, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Adam Graybill scores the bout. 48, 47, Davis. Judge Rodney Verhoof scores the bout. 49, 46, Roberts.
And Judge Sean Rommel scores the bout 48-47 for your winner by split decision, Ryan O.